So hello guys, welcome to part 6 for the Mustang Fusion 360 tutorial. And in this video mostly everything will be time lapse. I will just slow down the video on the moments that I want you to pay some attention. And first of all I would like to thank you for following my channel. For sure there are a lot more projects to come in the future. So let's get started. So as you can see I've inserted the canvas from the back of the car, I calibrated it and put it exactly in the middle. Then I created some extra edges around the tail light and by using edit form tool I press alt, I sync the lights inside of the car with couple edges and that's how I made lights for the back of the car. Then all what we have to do is to adjust our model according to the canvas. I inserted a couple more edges, of course I had to use a lot insert point function, make some lines more straight and don't forget to constantly checking with zebra analysis. Zebra analysis will help you to see all the bumps that should not be kind of on a straight surface. It also will allow you to see the car, how it will reflect on the light. So overall I suggest you to get used to zebra analysis function. When you're getting used to this function it helps a lot in the future. And the more you use it, the more you understand it. And of course regular canvases it's not enough to model this kind of car. That's why I checked on Google this model and I use it as a reference so that I can see where exactly everything goes. So for the bumper I just created edges that I need, selected faces that I want to be extruded and with the edit form and alt I just extruded them slightly away. So the rest of the video I'm just making everything more smooth and as you can see I'm constantly switching between the box mode and the smooth mode because at this stage we have a lot of faces to work with and sometimes box mode doesn't match with the actual smooth mode. So enjoy the rest of the video and I hope to see you in our next part. Leave us in this moment yeah. 